Unless you dealt this, you got to deal with it. Meanwhile, just across the Hudson River in Secaucus, New Jersey, tabloid talk show host Morton Downey Jr. trained his formidable mouth on hard rock music this week with a show that featured Joey Ramone, Circus of Power, and original Kiss guitarist Ace Frehley. Was there blood on the walls? Well, no. Downey, a former crooner himself, is apparently still into music, all kinds of it. Here's a look at how the taping went. Musicians get, you know, penned here, you know what I mean? Because, uh, because of our decadent lifestyle, supposedly. What is your decadent lifestyle, Joey? Coming on the more Downey show. He's provocative and so are we. <laughs> John Lennon's dead and uh, Motley Crue's Doesn't just another John dime a dozen genius. Band. His music still lives with us. Why is he a genius? Why is he a genius? What genius? Why is he a genius? How did he change your life? I didn't say, you have to change my luck to be a genius. Why is he a genius? Musical genius, a Why writer, an incredible musician. You never realized that. Where have you been for the last 30 years? That's what critics are for. I mean, if they couldn't slam someone, if they had to say they liked everything, there'd be no job for a critic. Yeah, what are you doing here? They, they paid my way. Go away. I bet you he goes home and listens to Bon Jovi at night. I just want to say one thing. If I ever came home looking like you, my mother would throw me the hell out of the house. I mean, look at the way you dress, man. You think these kids are going to know what about? Hey, listen, I'd kill myself if I dressed like you. But some of the meatheads were kind of endearing in their own special way. Kind of. I mean, you know, it makes for a good show. You get angry at that which you do not understand, right? A lot of people don't understand it. We love Martin. Yeah, he kept saying me in all the breaks. He, he would say, he's, uh, that loudmouth says one more thing to you. Go get him, Alex. You know, Mort used to be a singer, and uh, he's a songwriter, and uh, I think there's some type, there'll be some type of rapport. Ain't nothing wrong with that, pal. That's just good music. pretty much say what you want to say there's no other shows like that did you know of other groups that use drugs or did you use drugs your group did my group use drugs not really You're right. okay. <laughs> so i don't know what we're going to all be doing 15 years from now a lot of rock stars or dog groomers and everything else where the cycle sluts from hell going to be 15 years from now probably working in my dog grooming place <laughs> i walk along the street of Morton was the best. Morton's the best. No argument there. By the way, although Downey is frequently credited with having either written or produced two early 60s surf classics, Wipeout and Pipeline, he told us this week that while he did happen to be on hand when those records were made, he had absolutely nothing to do with actually making them. We'll be back with a special Sun, Sand, and Surfboard report when the Week in Rock continues.